accurate, reliable, to the point. This is New Center 5 at noon. Osteoporosis is a debilitating disease. Those who have it have fragile bones that can easily break. But the good news is it is a disease that can be prevented and treated. Joining us now with more is Dr. Warren Levy of Unigine Labs. Good afternoon, Dr. Levy. Hi, Amy. It's good to talk with you about this. I think when we hear about osteoporosis, we often kind of associate it with the elderly, but I understand that bone loss actually starts much earlier in life. That's correct. In the 80% of sufferers, uh, the female population, um, bone loss starts right at menopause, which the average age is about 51 and a half years old today. Uh, and a woman can lose 30% of her skeleton in the first three years after menopause. So early interve inter intervention is key in terms of trying to prevent the disease. So how early are we talking? When should we begin really thinking about bones? Right around menopause is when uh, women should take seriously their, uh, their bone health. Okay. And what can we and should we be doing? Well, the first thing is you'd want to get a family history. Make sure, uh, go to your physician and see if there's a history of osteoporosis in your family. Uh, you're going to want to get a bone scan. This is something that you typically would get at menopause and every six months thereafter. And if it's determined that you are losing bone, uh, there are various things that you can do. You can obviously, you need to take uh, adequate amounts of calcium and vitamin D. That can be dairy products, dark green leafy vegetables, etc. Um, you need to do weight-bearing exercise. Uh, and avoid certain things like excessive alcohol consumption, caffeine consumption, and smoking. Okay, and there are supplements, right? Yes, calcium supplements are useful. As it turns out, uh, calcium is, is better uh, for the body if it's taken with regular food. It's, it's absorbed better. Okay, and if you are diagnosed with osteoporosis, I understand there are certain treatments, right? Yes, there are various treatments that are available. Some are safer than others. Some have been around longer than others. Um, there's one family of drugs uh, based on the natural ingredient calcitonin, uh, which has a very good safety profile. Uh, and a new calcitonin drug is available as of last year, a product called Fortical, uh, which we think is a useful alternative in the treatment of osteoporosis. Okay. And I understand, too, there are also like bone density scans that you can have done to kind of have, have your body checked, right? Correct. Uh, once a woman hits menopause, she should get a baseline bone density scan and pretty much every six months thereafter in order to determine whether she's actively losing bone or not. Okay. Dr. Levy, any other advice for people out there? Well, basically you want to be mindful of health. Uh, bone health is key in order to maintain an active lifestyle. And these days, uh, a woman at 50 years old hopefully has many decades in front of her. So quality of life is very important. Certainly. All right. Where can our viewers go for more information? Uh, the National Osteoporosis Foundation would be one website, and then websites uh, include uh, unigene.com uh, and fortical.com to learn about Fortical itself. All right. Dr. Levy, some great information. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.